my toes are busted. My kitchen says my bread is molded. I got a good job at the dollar store. One foot in the hole, one foot getting deeper with a broken mirror and a blown out speaker. And I ain't got much else to lose. After reading this note, I never ever want to see you again or have anything to do with you. Your whining about allergies, having panic attacks, and complaining about fashion challenge people was just too much. T taking 10 minutes to order at a restaurant due to your animal concerns was unbearable. I knew he didn't care. I mean, who sends day old roses if they care? Hey, I bought those from a veteran. That's patriotic and romantic. Maybe, just maybe, we'd still be spending quality time together if you weren't so fixated on trivial things like fresh flowers. Listen, Missy, my kid is good with his cash and he has a romantic sense of style. You know, high maintenance girls like you, they can't appreciate class. You know, your mother is the same. Really? Yep. You see how that's working out, don't you? <laughs> yeah. I pose a conundrum to you. A riddle, if you will. I don't want to hear it. What's the difference between you and a mallet with a cold? One's a sick duck. I can't... I didn't know any better. I think your mother just got home from work. A bad day at work. Yeah, well, we both know that's not gonna happen. Well, unfortunately, it won't. Wah, 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 wah. You missed your meds again today? Ooh, yeah, I think I did. Let me get them for you.
You're welcome. Thanks. I was going to say it. What are we having for dinner, Snookums? Chili. Chili? Mm, yeah. Haven't had that in two days. You want to cook? I would if the counters weren't so high. You know, I make a mean lasagna. A part Italian, 10%, you know. Yeah, prego. Hey, it's true. What, do you think I'm crazy or something over here? I didn't say that. Relax, relax. Hey, take a, take a pill. I like your cooking, Sarah. It's good. I like your chili, too. Call that cooking. So I've been looking through these magazines, too, and um, the mail, and there's a collection of uh, flashy items from your school over here, kid. And some of them are looking a little bit old, too. Old? Mm-hmm. What do you mean by old? Dad, don't tell me you haven't been keeping up with the mail. Well, I've been kind of busy lately. I was going to tell you a couple of weeks ago, I kind of forgot. What else have you been forgetting to tell me? Well, uh, Graham called last week, and uh, I haven't been able to fix the dishwasher. I haven't gotten to it yet. Dad, you sit and you watch TV, like, all day. you got to help me out here. Hey, 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 I'm, I'm doing the best I can. You know, I'm a cripple here. Can you see that? Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Yikes. Over oh, mackerel. What the hell's going on with you? Something bad happened at school? Huh? You never spat with that guy in 4C? I have to make dinner. You know, I don't know about that guy. I ain't seen him in a couple weeks, and I uh, haven't even heard him scratching at the back door. Okay, he, he dumped me, all right? Now you know. He dumped you? You gotta be kidding me. How'd he do it? Note on the door. Hello? Who the hell is this? Get me Hannah. Grandma, this is Hannah. Fine and dandy. What's all the commotion about? Commotion? Grandma, you called here. Oh, yeah. You got problems at school. Oh, okay, if you're talking about math, I got this one kid to tutor me. He's kind of nerdy. All I have to do is get him tickets to... Wait a minute, how'd you know? The school is on me about your residency. And the school Gestapo has been parked outside of my house uh, for days now. Oh God, you didn't tell him I lived with my dad, did you? I told him you lived with me. Oh, thank God. Now, I don't like lying, so you better make some choices and make them fast. Like uh, what? Like if you tell the schools that you live with me, then you damn well better live with me. Grandma, listen, it's, it's only a little white lie for like a couple more months, and I'm a senior. I'm almost out. No, it just ain't right. Either you live with me or I tell the big shots at that school that you don't live with me. All right, thanks for the news. I got your father's room all cleaned out and ready for you to move in. Thanks, so I'll, uh, I'll make some arrangements. Yeah, all right. What's wrong? You know what? Nothing. I just really have to get out of here or my head's just going to you know, blow up. What about my dinner? Um, you know what? There's grandma's, uh, pickled, it's the squid stuff. It's it's not got that much, you know, mold on it. It's forget only two it, weeks forget old. it, forget it, forget it, forget it. I'll order a pizza. <laughs> Peace out. Bye, pumpkin. Stand there and those.
Spider-Man underwear and that stupid look on your face? Madison! That weird girl's here! Yeah, I am so not weird, okay? Yeah? Well, if weird had a score, you'd be at 100. Ugh, if annoying on a floor, you'd be at a penthouse. That was stupid. Well, listen, just go get your sister. Marcus, stop flirting with Hannah, get back to your flashcards and Ovaltine. I wasn't flirting, and if overuse of eye makeup was a crime, She'd be doing life sentence. Marcus! <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, Hannah, I'm sorry. He has no social skills. I notice. Listen, I need to talk and it's complicated. Are you okay? <laughs> no. Is it your mom? <sighs> no, but... <clears throat> the whole school thing is getting, like, so out of hand. And my grandma is so wrapped up in her fish, she can't do anything about it. My dad's still really, really lazy, too. I just, I just can't take anymore, especially since 4C dumped me. 4C dumped you? I thought I told you. No, he was cute, I would've totally remembered. You know, with all this other stuff flying in my face, I must've forgot. Was it another girl? <laughs> no, he said I was like, generally overwhelming and overly dramatic. What a creep. He was cute. That's true, but do you know what to take your mind off of all this? No. What? Blind date. You must be joking. No, I, I saw it on TV. It works. I don't know. Well, do you want to stay here tonight? I guess I can squeeze it in. So, how'd that mall trip go? Well, it was pretty good. I got a few shirts, a couple pairs of pants. Pretty cool. successful. Did your brother go? Oh, no. Can't take him anywhere. Yeah, I wouldn't really want to put him out in public without a leash or something. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah. So, um, thanks again for letting me stay over the other night. I appreciate it. Anytime. And have you told any more about those dates? Hey, girls, stop with the chit chat. You have customers waiting for you. Hey, Vampira, what have I told you about your makeup? You scared away all my customers. Yeah, relax. I cut down on the mascara, and uh, the customers like me the way I am. You don't get it, do you? This isn't a stinking Halloween show. People don't want the chocolate stuff from your eyes in their garlic bread. They make pills for people like you. That's it, girly. You push me buttons too hard. Go home, clean off your face, clean off your mind, come back tomorrow, we'll try again, okay? Yeah, whatever. Hey, Vampire, don't come back with a junk in your face. Oh, Hannah, what happened? That creep is on my case again about my makeup. Last week it was my attitude. Look, you need this job. Let him cool off, he's got like a 20 second memory anyway. You come in tomorrow and blow him away with your cheery side. Plus, your regulars are due in, so your tips should be... My cheery side? So what's the other side, the mean wench? Hannah, I didn't say that. You jump to conclusions a lot. Fair pilot, didn't I send you home? And you, girly, customers are waiting for you. Let's go, go, go. Dino! What? Um, everybody try the Coney pizza and don't forget to tip your waitresses. Don't worry, people. Nothing to see here. Eat, eat, eat. It's okay, refills on pop. like somebody forgot to take their meds today. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
today? What'd you get done? Well, I uh, was looking at our lists and, um, oh shoot, the sink thing. Cool, yeah. And I almost forgot, thank God for these lists. Uh, Grim called. What'd she complain about? Nothing, not this time. Hey, your grandma means well. Cut her some slack. Cut her some slack? Okay, cut, cut her some slack. Dad, I'm an 18-year-old housewife who is married to a dump, okay? My boss calls me vampira, my friends think I'm a wench, and guess what? 4C dumped me. So you know what? How about you cut me some freaking slack? Oh, man, I didn't expect that. Holy macro, sassy. You know what? I think this apartment could use some slack. In fact, you might as well call the bomb squad. I don't, I don't need this right now, okay? I don't need it. Hey, hey, I was just kidding. Take it easy, for God's sakes. Oh, I wonder what Grandma wants. Probably I got something real rich to complain about from my clothes to my attitude. To my math grades, that's another good one. Uh, wonder what now? Oh, hey, Grandma. When you moving in? Okay, I thought we'd talk about this some other time. Like, not now. I need to get these bitter alleys off my backside. They've been poking around my uh, rose garden. Surely you exaggerate. I beg to differ with you. Um, Agnes Moorhead's grandson, Baxter, was claiming he lived with her. But he got yanked right out of his woods and metal class. And uh, now the only thing to show up at Agnes's house is uh, Tony the mailman with those hairy red legs. Uh, but uh, that's an adult story. Ew. Well, um, listen, I I'm considering a move, but my dad, he needs me, so I, I don't know. Like, You better consider this a serious warning. I don't want to see you get yanked like Baxter. I I'll consider it, all right? And we can chat it up sometime over lunch. Don't be a smart ass. Okay, goodbye, Grandma. You know, come to think of it, that Tony did have some good looking legs. No, oh, just give her a chance, that's all. She means well, and I think she actually is concerned for you. You know, you can learn a lot from old wrinkly people. Yeah, well, if you're trying to get me to join, like, voluntary community service or, like, Oprah's book club, like, a nice person, it ain't gonna... Sorry, sir. Perhaps you should watch where you're going, young lady. Well, okay. Perhaps I could say the same for you, too, Pops. Pops? Mm -hmm. Pops? What's this Pops crap? Excuse me, sir. What seems to be the trouble? May I make the observation that her service what? here is terrible? Why? Why, I apologize for her, sir. How about this? I'll take care of the bill. You don't pay anything, I take care of everything. I'm sincerely sorry for this one. You can clearly see she's a ticking time bomb. Tick, tick, tick. Maybe it's about time I let her go today. Here, you deal with it. I'm out of here. Time bomb. Yeah, time you, bomb. You vampire. What? You're completely right. But the thing is, Dino, do you know what time bombs do? Do you know what they do? They explode, man. And this is me exploding, all right? I've had it up to here with your coney dogs, your ridicule, and your makeup tips. I mean, come on. It's weird. I'm done. You don't have to fire me, man. I'm out. <laughs> Bye, vampire. Don't come back. Don't worry about her. She's a bit crazy. Eat up and Awesome. Hannah, 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 She's crazy. She's crazy. Stop. Stop. She's crazy. Just eat. She's crazy. Tim, you got to do something about that TV and get it fixed because I'm missing all my game shows. Look, well, Grandma, I'm your man. Considered done. Number 682 on the list. And I'll get to it after next Lent. Oh, man, no way. All the members of my fan club under one roof. Don't start with me. I've had a crappy day. My dishwasher's on the blink, my TV only plays Canadian programs, and your school is on me about your residency. Listen, Grandma, I haven't been at a picnic either. Hannah, 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 Hannah. Cut your grandma some slack. She's just trying to help here. 
Tim, stop trying to candy coat this. Hannah, get your gear together. I've got to stop at the dry cleaners and get my bowling uniform. Uh, okay. Well, just give me five minutes to get some necessities. And I hope you've gotten over that silly smoking phase. I can't stand that stench. Your Uncle Hank used to smoke and my curtains are still stained yellow. What? I don't smoke. Now give me ten minutes, all right? What an ingrate. That kid is out of control. Tim, when was the last time she was horse whipped? Well, since you used to do that to me so much, Grandma, I'm not going to get into that. I might be getting a, one of them cattle prod things. That might work on her. Yeah, I think that'll work. That should be good. And therefore, it is the quantity of the square root of the quantity of 2 over pi that completes the Fourier cosine transformation. It doesn't surprise me to find so many of you absent on the day when you knew I would give a quiz. However, in regards to your last test, I was pleased this time around. Some of you appear almost motivated. Yet others have proven to be the proverbial bumps on logs. In fact, the very essence of your existence is a miraculous mathematical marvel in that you were conceived at all, despite the rather imposing odds against it. I guess you could say that math is truly universal, and that all of our DNA is a mathematical splendor of grace and composition. Oh, yikes. Yikes, indeed. Some of you may choose to ignore math, fine for now. But odds are, eventually, you will recognize that math is a hidden code that will unveil... Hey, girly, bring Grandma a cold one, will ya? Well, couldn't you at least open it for me? Well, I, I couldn't find the can opener. <laughs> oh, my own. Nice shirt. Oh, uh, thanks a lot. I bought it for myself. Uh, I was hoping my grandchild would get it for me, but that didn't happen. Set, go. <laughs> higher, higher. Lower, higher. Here, push it down. No, try again. All higher. Listen, it was on Dad's list of things to do, number 4,700. Oh, yeah. By the way, that um, you got a call from that Madison? Hmm. She said something about uh, a date, and don't forget about the little cafe. Thanks. You better not be hanging out with any of those bums from the school. Wait, what? Men are pigs, plain and simple. Don't you go and get yourself all gussied up over some uh, swine who doesn't even care enough about you to open your door. I know that Madison fancies herself as a little ma matchmaker. Well, let her take out the losers du jour. And uh, you stay clear of all of them until you get yourself a good paying job. Then you call the shots. You're the boss. No smelly, grubby guy telling you what to do. Get it? Yeah, I got it. I sure as hell hope so. Your Grandpa Floyd was a good sort, but he had an opinion on everything, and that got old real fast. Yeah, Grandma, I guess I could see how it would get old. And uh, thanks for the girly talk, but I'm just going to go meet that brat Madison up for a cup of coffee. Yeah, Madison, I bet you'll be making goo-goo eyes over the first lumbering idiot who says you're cute. Thanks for the vote of confidence there, Grandma. Uh, don't mention it. So what is that thing on your hand? Is it like a growth or something? My name is Charlie, and we are the creative half of Mark of the Hexagon. Is that like a geometry club or something? No way, dude. It's a metal band, and I play lead guitar. And we're selling our shirts on eBay for $10. And because I like you, you can have this one for free. Thank you so much. Um. Yeah, uh, don't the metal bands use the pentagram? I told you it wasn't a hexagram. 
hexagon, dude. And it doesn't matter. It can be whatever you want it to be. You are lame beyond all belief. I agree with you on that one. And you know what else, Sock Puppet Man? You rock. Well, all right. And you are? Scientific. <laughs> so you're telling me love and attraction can be boiled down to science? Precisely. It's just a biochemical reaction, a uh, reaction to hormonal impulses uh, in the brain with neurotransmitters. Uh, are you familiar with the work of Dr. Tony Coleman? No. That's T-O-N-I, not N-Y. She's a girl like you, Hannah. <laughs> a, a female? You don't know her? No. Well, luckily for you, I carry around a quote from her <laughs> in my little moleskin here. She states, and I quote, the chemical that results from this attraction boy meets girl, if you will, like you and me, Hannah, is phenylethylamine, that's ethylamine, or P-E-A, that's P dot E dot A. It's an acronym, Hannah. <laughs> well, it's a naturally occurring substance in the brain. Essentially, it's a natural amphetamine, <laughs> like those drugs. <laughs> well, this reaction in the brain causes us to become stimulated both emotionally and physically. <laughs> to produce more PEA. And that's why it's associated with dizzy feelings that are associated with romantic love. <laughs> so you find yourself dizzy when you look into my love pools? Love pools? Those would be my eyes in a... Oh. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I think the whole state knew we were an item. And that's why I had to dump her. Yeah, sure, I, I can see that. Actually, no, I can't. Why'd you do that? Uh, she cramped my style. I mean, everywhere I'd go, I'd hear, oh, there's that cute couple. I mean, we were like Nick and Jessica Simpson, but better looking. <laughs> that Nick guy's got messed up teeth. <laughs> right, right. So now you're young and single and like to mingle. Yeah, but I gotta study. You know Candy McHots? Yeah, no, I don't. Yeah, you might have known her as Candace McCall, but uh, I changed her name. Wait, I know Candace. She's got like an English accent. Yeah, you might have known her before I popped for a makeover with a massive discount from my Uncle Ed. <laughs> He's kind of like a surgeon. You should check her out now. Oh, good God. How much of her is actually real? Well, those are still her teeth. She is much improved. You think I did wonders with her? <laughs> you know Kelly Carpet. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah. Gone are the braces, glasses, and the greasy hair. And what did you replace? See for yourself. Nice, huh? I mean, with all the turbulence on the financial horizon these days, NASDAQ, Dow Jones rising and falling like the tides, corn futures down, oil futures are up, silver futures are all side to side, gold futures are all over the place. I mean, I can't even eat, a, eat my dinner without having a big problem. Anyways, are you going to finish your coffee? No. $2.85 for 90% water? That's a sound investment. Can I say something personal to you? Yeah, sure. I realize I don't even know you, but... Diversify your portfolio. Oh, oh my goodness. Sorry, Power Shares is selling at $2.85 a share for $14. I gotta get out of here before they're gone. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and that one turd with the sock puppet on its hand or whatever, he was a real treat. Oh, yeah, I didn't know it was gonna bring a friend. It wouldn't have mattered anyway, it was creepy. My bad. And that list goes on. How about that geekazoid? Larry's sweet. Don't be hard on him. Yeah, I can see him now drooling over DNA fun facts and star charts with his online girlfriend. All right, I guess I sent you some real duds. Yeah, no kidding. Well, you know what? I'm done, all right? I'm going into a self-determined social coma. Well, I know, Dr. Phil, but that does sound painful. How about one more shot? <laughs> Another chance? No, it was a train wreck. You live to tell about it, and look, no scars. You know what? I'll think about it. Really? No, not at all. Goodbye. What am I doing?
Oh my god, poor C! Yeah, bad, sorry. You again? You, you just don't get it. You're too high maintenance. You're like the Queen of England. Re remember when I took you to that one, uh, that one art show flick? What was it, uh... Yes, Cling to Sorrow yeah, at the yeah. Theater. Right, uh, the one where the boy has to put down his donkey. Yes, yes. Right, yeah. Well, don't you understand? I mean, it was symbolic of life itself. It was dripped in symbolism. Don't you see it? It was just the old yelling with hooves. Oh, that's deep. That's real deep. Yeah. It takes confidence to say that. And I love a man with confidence. I mean, do you want to... Do I want to what? Do you want to go out? No, no, no. You stay away from my boy, Missy. Yeah, thanks, Pop. Yeah, too much attention is what you crave. That's your problem. Oh, you know what you need? You need a spot like to hang around your neck. That way it can shine in your face every time you felt like you needed some attention. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh I can see it. I can see it. You know what? I know what your destiny is going to be. I know what your future is. You're going to wind up on a show like a Springer or Survivor, one of those reality shows, eating a boggy. Oh, yeah, I can see it. I can see it in big text. Women who whine and complain and the men who hate. <laughs> I don't want to die alone. Who else do you have left? I don't know, Hannah. I mean... What about Marcus? No. Spider-Man? No, 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 no. No thanks. Guess you're right. I don't know what... Wait. What? I don't know why I never thought of this before. What are you, what are you talking about? It's time for some mat. It sounds like an ad. He's perfect. Just, just be at the Little Cafe on Friday at 7. I've got the connection. Just nothing too formal. He's perfect, trust me. He's moody and artsy and he's got a killer sense of humor. What do you mean? Never mind. It's, it's a date and it's my last chance of hooking you up. Well, I never said to quit trying. There's no need to. He is perfect. Okay, curb your enthusiasm, all right? I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Marcus! I gotta go. See ya. You know, not all blind dates go badly. Yeah, but you already told me this girl has a mean side. So? All you gotta do is take her out for coffee, you know, listen to her complain, and then split. What's the point? The point is, Madison won't tell my mom about our party. So all I have to do is listen to her whine and moan while I drink an espresso, and then I never have to see her again? That's it. And the party will be full-blown with all the usual people. Guaranteed. I still don't know. I mean, frappuccinos are pretty pricey. Don't worry about it. The whole nightmare is on my sister. Seriously? Mm -hmm. Can I get, like, a sandwich, too, with, like, a toothpick in it? Don't push it. All right, all right, all right. I'll be there. But the party better be worth it. Deal. Listen, this math junk, I got all this makeup work, and that's the reason I haven't been over lately. I just don't have the time. It's inhumane, illogical, I have, I have no time. Look, just stop by tomorrow or something. The place seems empty without your little tirades and drama all the time. That's a motivator. Thank you so much. Seriously, I actually miss your home-cooked TV dinners and corn dogs, and your artsy charm. Come on, stop by and see the old cripple. And with that guilt trip, I'm sure you'll get a visit. Is that your father on the phone? Mm -hmm. Tell him to get a life. Stop whining and get a life. Is that the general? You bet. Oh, my God. Well, you know, stop by when you can, okay? Yeah, okay, I will. Good night. One eighty-six. Where the heck is 185? We haven't done that one yet. Listen, Blanche Withers is going to come over for dinner tomorrow, so I want us to prepare something special. Mm -hmm. So you stop by the market, get some steak to boil, and get some Swiss chard, too. Ew. 
Wait, who's Blanche Withers? She is the secretary to the dean of administration at the college, and we're gonna dine her in order to get your sorry ass in there next year. I thought everyone got in. Oh, wait, I can't have got a date tomorrow. Oh, what? A date with Madison at, you know... You lying sack of farm feed. You got a date with one of those losers from the college. Okay, maybe I do. Mm -hmm. And I maybe I need a loser in my life to complete me. Listen, I've been trying to tell you something about boys, but you've been getting too lippy to listen. Well, no, you're just ripping on me because I finally met someone. Listen, honey, I never told you this before because I guess I thought, well, I, it might make you soft. I mean, after that accident, well, look what happened to your father. He just ain't right. What's your point? You are my hope. I see the goodness in your eyes. Don't let some dirt bag drown it out. I see your point. And Grandma? What? I honestly understand what you're saying, and thank you for caring. Really. You go out with that punk that Brett Madison set you up with, and make sure he minds his manners. And if he doesn't, just kick him in the shins and send him home crying. I can come down a dark alley and I'll watch him squirm, Grandma. Good. Hon, I have to ask, so here goes. Can I get you anything else? Oh, thanks. I'm a little overly caffeinated. Just for record, he's a fool if you don't show. Mm, thanks. Is it really obvious that I'm waiting for somebody? Yes, it is. Hmm. A little something to ponder while you're waiting. Call me. Thanks. Pablo. You? Yeah, Mia, listen, I'm really sorry I'm late. My mom had me running all over the house, washing dishes, putting chapstick on, mowing the lawn, bagging the lawn. Changing my brother's diaper and, oh my God, he's 13, come on. <laughs> no, I mean, I've seen you before. You used to wait at me at Dino's all the time. Yeah, Dino's. Um, usually there with uh, Spider-Man, right? Don't rip on Marcus, he's my bud, come on. Hey, yeah, fine, fine. And won't rip on your little uh, Mark of the Hexagon t-shirt. Easy on the insults, it's only the first 30 seconds of the date. And I'm kind of already sensing a penalty for roughing the passer. But seriously though, I've gone to school with them since grade school and they're my friends. They're cool. I, well, I guess that's, I'll excuse the rotated style and call them retro. <laughs> Fair enough. Sorry. So, uh, what's a girl got to do to get a drink in a place like this? You gotta have some panache. Oh. Here, watch this. Pablo, get the props. Coming. What's going on? Don't worry about it, all right? Oh, man, you're the mystery date. That's me, Pablo. He's a stitch. See an essay? Mm. From the darkness of the underworld comes the hot chocolate god. The Harvinator shall bring you life and light and darkness and shallow waters and as the night goes on you'll be swallowed in it darkness of the cocoa <laughs> Come with me, my lady. Tis cold outside. Oh my god, I've never seen anything so cool. Do you do bad poetry often? <laughs> I do a little bit of Borat. My EAP's to die for, though. EAP? Edgar Allan Poe. Okay, all right. So, besides making the masses laugh, what else do you do? Uh, plant trees, hug whales, yodel. Sometimes I go down to the park and uh, roast marshmallows with my hobo friends over an open fire. <laughs> Impressive. Future plans? 
I would like to be an honest used car salesman. And ambitious, you might just be the first. Actually, I was on the internet one day, mm -hmm. and like I found this lady in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. She sells slightly dinged up Hondas, but... Well, that's not really a car, so you might just get the title. Maybe. But, uh, hey, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. Uh, why'd you agree to meet me? A party. So you want to take me to a party? Yes and no. Well, define, please. Yes, I would like to take you to a party, but that really wasn't my original plan. Okay, I'm confused, but I'm flattered. Let's just leave it at that. Well, seriously, though, you're okay. Well, yeah. You hear otherwise? No, it's just that you always seem kinda... I kind of know, what? Angry? Mad? Scary? Get the picture. Listen, maybe I've had a lot of crap to deal with and I don't know how to deal with it. Like what? My mom died. I'm sorry to hear that. You know what? It's okay. Cause my dad's all right. My dad's all right. He, he's in a wheelchair and he could do so much more, but he's all right. And That's good. I just, my grandma's a total loon, but I, I guess she cares about me. I mean, but I'm, I'm failing math. I might not graduate. I recently got fired from my job. Yeah, I saw that. Did you? It's all right. And you know, on top of all this, 4C dumped me, the guy in 4C scumbag, and, and they don't make Fruity Pebbles for breakfast anymore, Matt. Wait, what? No more Fruity Pebbles? Oh, no. I is guess there any, not. Is there anyone around? All right, listen, I know a guy who knows a guy. We can get you the street version of that cereal. <clears throat> but I mean, if and only if you really need it. Okay, well, I was down about a bowl a day, so I didn't think I really had a problem. All right, I guess that's good. Well, listen, <clears throat> I'm really sorry about your mom. And if there's anything I can do for you, anything at all, you just have to ask if you want a math tutor or whatever, anything at all. Thanks. It's okay. Force these laws is my gain anyway. Kind of loser names their kid Force C. <laughs> We have an exam on Eichen's Law and the Fourier series, series of the function fx. Now, today, you kiddies will be learning something useful. Because today, we'll be learning about the angle of inclination and the angle of elevation. How morbidly depressing. Oh, what's this? A critic? Oh, I'm so sorry I couldn't make this more stimulating for your teenage palate. Mm. Perhaps. I could play the lute and recite the Canterbury Tales while I teach trigonometry. Here goes. The angle of inclination which the observer must look down to see when the observer is below the horizontal plane. Note, the angle of elevation is congruent to the angle of depression. Now, so of course, if we take Riemann's theorem regarding finite intervals to its logical and natural conclusion, then the limit must equal x over 3 to the power of 2 minus y. Now, you have a pass. I do not need a pass. Good God, tell me this is real. It's just like in that movie with that Buddhist guy, the one who married Cindy Crawfish. Well, what's his name? Thanks right now, I'll be 20 points. I'm sorry. Did I fail to stimulate your tender and delicate attention span? Fine. I guess I'll just have to tap directly into your brain wavelengths. About what? Nothing. I know what you're thinking about. No, you don't. You're thinking about Matt. Oh, come on. Don't be ridiculous. You've totally got the hots for him. All right. You know what? Maybe he's crossed my mind once or twice. Big deal. I knew that extra work would pay off. What? What extra work? 
A couple people did me some favors. It's, it was nothing. Uh, what? I, I knew it was too good to be true. He was a hired escort. It's not like that, Hannah. You know what? Forget it. Just, you could tell Matt to forget about the party, all right? Can't those TV people control what's being fed through our television set? <sighs> Grandma, it's really not worth getting that upset over, is it? Yes, it really is. I just can't deal with this right now. Sorry. Oh, I see. Some snot-nosed boys come along and stomped all over your heart. Wah, wah, wah. You gotta let this little devil know that you're the boss. Grandma, I just can't deal with this right now, okay? I know I'm a little rough around the edges, but you gotta keep something in mind. What, men are pigs and, oh, say please and thank you? What's important is you follow your heart. Plus, boys do make great toys. Uh, <laughs> with that in mind, I'm gonna go do this real quick, okay? I'll go take care of business. Um, hey. Oh, you. Wow. I just talked to Madison. She kind of made it sound like you'd never want to talk to me again. I considered it. Well, it's good to hear I still got a little bit of panache left. God, you were so corny. Yeah. So, why'd you call? Well, I heard there was this, uh, party going on tonight. Oh, did you? Yeah, and I was kind of hoping I could find a Superman to save Lois from the clutches of her evil grandma and her uh, army of ferocious fish. I think that could be arranged. Okay, well, hold on one second. Grandma? Be in by 11.30. Okay, of course, hold on. Thank you. Oh, don't now, don't be getting mushy <laughs> on me. Okay. Oh, all right, I heard. I'll pick you up in 10 minutes. All right, see ya. Hi. Hey Larry, my crime fighting man. <laughs> I don't know if this matters to you, but this is my house and we do have some rules. Well, I'm using a coaster and I wipe my feet clean. <laughs> Not those kind of rules, Larry. Oh, well, Batgirl, what kind of rules? Well, for starters, Batman, do you uh, like my outfit? Ooh, what's not to like? You've got the deluxe Batgirl uniform with action lasso, grappling hook, and high sheen cape. Mm. This was the best they had, but I think I may have just been fishing for a compliment here. Well, Madison, I'm actually in the process of reeling in a hot mamacita Batgirl. What do you say we go back to my Batcave and fight some crime? <laughs> Maybe we could commit some. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, Papo, does this mean a discount on coffee? Maybe, if you mind your manners. <laughs> so, uh, I really dig that Spider-Man thing, man. Huh? I'm glad someone noticed! What a coincidence. Oh my god, am I dreaming? This is no coincidence. A coincidence would have been if we dressed up as Barney and Fred from the Flintstones or the guys from the Matrix. It's a sign here, don't you get it? Maybe it's an intricate spider web and we're both trapped in it. No. Get it? No, I, I, I get it. Get it like no. a spider no, 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 web? No, 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 no. I, I Where are you going? So will this jalopy hold the two of us? <laughs> as long as it starts. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I know. This isn't standard date attire. You know what? It's okay because I had a vision about this uh, whole Superman thing anyway. Okay, I'm not really following your lead there, but there's another glitch I need to go over with you. Is there a convention in town I need to know about? Or? No, I just haven't really told you too much about this party and... Well, is this going to get creepy? No, I just think you're going to need this. 
Is this my encoder ring? <laughs> Close. I f kind of forgot to mention that this is a costume party, but sh Before you complain, we're gonna go to Ganella's so you can change real quick. Alice is gonna have a carryout order for you to pick up. Right? I called okay. it so she knows about it. But I know what you're thinking. That I should probably be making calls to friends and family right now. No, no. My plan is gonna go smoothly. Just trust me. This is gonna be great. Alright. You ready? Yeah. Oh, that's good. I know. So I look at my accountant and I said, so what's the damage? She says, nothing a little creative book cooking couldn't solve. Oh. So I look at her and you know what I said? What? Do I look like I just fell off the bus and landed on Wall Street? Well, you know, if it was me, I would have called the feds and ratted her out. Because it's people like her that have bottled up our financial institutions and severed our respect for international lending institutions on a global level. Good God, woman, will you, will you join my firm? Are you dead counting me? Maybe. for Matt. Oh yeah, right, coming right up. But uh, you're the one he's been talking about. Yeah, so. You can go change in the back, you know. Oh. Your costume is adorable. Oh, well, thank you. I'll just be a minute. Okay, take your time, honey. Nice kid. Look, I ordered Italian. Whole wheat, hard bread, three cheeses. What is this? Tuna? Albacore? Abalone? Mahi? My friend Flicka? Oh, what is this? Some deluded childhood fantasy? What am I... This is a Dr. Phil moment, if I ever heard of one. I clearly ordered Italian! Listen, Jake. You ordered tuna. In fact, yesterday you had Italian. Here! Yeah, man, just, just, just calm down. They say that tuna's a new aphrodisiac, man. Hey, hey, put a lid on it, Chucky. We don't want to add gas to the fire. We don't want a postal moment here. Oh, oh, I see. It's let's go pick on a postal worker day, isn't it? It's taking her so long. Maybe Alice is screwing up the order or something. Oh, well, isn't that nice? Well, let's see who's laughing now! This is textbook conspiracy. This sounds like a job for Superman. Don't do anything stupid here, okay? Guns? Superman? Violence? I... Holy moly. For a tuna sandwich? I, I ordered Italian. Not that's, on that's my cool. watch. Three cheeses? I'm out of here, forget the sandwich. Rick, I'll have a story for you by seven. Yes, I promise. We'll find something. I mean... Hold on, it looks like someone's robbing Ganellas right now. Let me call you back. Get the camera ready. Whoa, good job, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, I'm Annabelle Young from Channel 4 News. Do we have a shot? Not yet. Tell me when we're rolling. Now we're rolling. All right. Hello there, I am Annabelle Young from Channel 4 News, and I am right now at Ganella's, where there was just an attempt robbery. Saved by Superman. Um, attempt robbery, right? Matt, that's just ridiculous. 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 TV is is that Matt and that weird girl? Man, that looks like Hannah. Madison, where are you?
jumping Jehoshaphat. Is that my Hannah? You go, girl. Did someone say my name? Just never you mind, my partner in crime. <laughs> Oh, you definitely you. That's my grappling hook. Heading down off the mountain slope And there's my steps Echo, echo Louder than before Another day is done Say goodbye to the setting sun See what I found Back to the ground Just like before And hey, hey Follow the wind that pushes me